This is Nellie Deutsch. In order to optimize your Moodle site, OP Cache is an important feature that you need to include. I'm going to show you how to install this plugin in my Moodle site. You can either download or go straight into your site. I'm going to go into this particular one. This is a test site where I test various aspects of the site of a Moodle site. If you're interested, let me know and I'll be happy to help you. All right, so I'm going to continue and let's see how this works. Make sure that you do not install anything that's uh, in its maturity stage. Make sure that everything is set so you do not mess up. So this is OP Cache. This requirement has been around for Moodle for a long time, but right now you're probably going to get notifications to enable it for your own good of course every time you upgrade to a new plugin or Moodle version and so on all right so let's take a look and see how it works in order to open up I went to the site management and searched wrote down OP cache notice uh, what's available here I can this is the overview I can reset cache let's do that now reset it and it's giving me all the information of my website i'll be able to watch this to make sure that everything is working properly i can also reset it enable real-time update okay so i can get real time and see what's happening as it happens cached okay notice all these files were cached and we're back to if you want to start typing to filter a script in a path you can do that so Moodle OP cache can be managed in this easy way let me know if you have any questions and feel free to add them to the comment box below and subscribe